Well, hey, 2nd District, State Representative Andrew Barkas with another edition of the Barkas Breakdown coming to you this morning underneath the dome here in Olympia on a beautiful almost spring day. Well, we just finished up last week a nine-day run of floor action, and that was the first chance for us to be on the floor for continuous time, passing all the bills that have come out of the committee work. And I can tell you, it was a long session. During that time, we saw a lot of bad bills and we fought with some great debates. We had a great debate on the landlord-tenant law issues, one on the low carbon fuel standard, and one on single payer health care. All of those, we were able to get our message out about the detriments of a lot of that policy that's been going through here in Olympia. But you know, today I want to talk about positive stuff. And so I was thinking about all the stuff that we've done that's positive here. And I can tell you, my Republican colleagues and I, we saw 89 of our bills out of the 300 some bills that went through pass off the floor of the House and are continuing on in their journey. Now those are bills that are dealing with common sense business solutions, some good education reform policy, a couple of good landlord tenant law policy, and other things that are important for the people of the state of Washington. And I would like to also highlight some of the good bipartisan work that's been done here underneath the dome with some other good policy. One in particular is a bill, House Bill 1528, which is a bill that Representative Davis did. I got onto that bill because I saw the importance of it. It passed 98 to 0. And what it has to do with is recovery housing and additional what we call the continuum of care with recovery services, which is so important. You know, as we hear more and more about the homeless issue and all the issues that are surrounding that as we see on our streets, it is important that we start talking about addictive recovery services, especially the continuum of care and the housing component that is so important to help people once they come out and they're on their road to recovery. So let me tell you about some other things. We have a great delegation here in the second district. Senator Randy Becker, who is the caucus chair, and my seatmate here in the House, Representative JT Wilcox, who is our minority leader, they are performing some amazing leadership. They are working in their respective positions to help coordinate so much of the activities that go on here underneath the dome with the policy and the process. And I couldn't be more honored to work with both of them here in Olympia. And speaking of that, you'll have a chance to come out and visit with the three of us, myself, Senator Becker, and Representative Wilcox, this Saturday coming up in Yelm at the Yelm Community Center starting at 10 a.m. until noon. We're going to hold a town hall. It's going to be a chance from all all of you out in the second district to come and join us there. There's plenty of room and have a chance to visit with us a little bit about what's going on here in Olympia and with the second district. So that should give you up to date. We're going to get back to work here. I got to get back in there. We do committee work for the next couple of weeks as we get ready to just finish off the process here and hopefully get in towards the close of business come the end of April. So it's always a pleasure to talk to you and I encourage you to reach out to my office. Either give me a call, stop by or send me an email. But as I always say, it's an honor and privilege to serve the people of the 2nd District. And thanks for tuning in to another Barkus Breakdown here in Olympia under the dome.